Hi, Family of God. This is Vicki and Chuck. It is Thursday, July 7th, 2022, and today is Prayers and Music Day. So I'm going to let a little bit of Chuck's music play in the background, and then when I finish the uh, prayer portion, I will go ahead and play one of his songs. You guys, thank you so much for being here. And welcome to little John, our youngest prayer warrior, who is faithful to pray with us each day. I got an email from Teresa Harvest. Um, they have been on the road. They've sold their home in California, and they are wandering through the wilderness, as she puts it. Actually, I think I'm going to read this to you in just a moment. But first, I want to say it's a... It's a an email that she sent with the prayer request. Teresa is our prayer team leader and her whole family has pulled up stakes and they are moving to another land. Well, actually just another state, but anyway, um, but first I want to say thank you all to uh, all of you who are joining us for the first time. Every Thursday we do a prayer request message uh, video and um, to all of our regular subscribers, thank you so much for being here. And all of you who fly under the radi radar, we hear you out there flying around, although we don't know who you are, can't see you. We're just so, so glad everybody is here. Thank you guys for joining us and thank you for supporting this ministry through your prayers and in every other way that you do. And uh, let me see here. I am going to start this prayer uh, this prayer and music podcast, I keep wanting to call it a video, but I'm just, eh, well, I guess it kind of is, um, reading Teresa's note that she sent along with the requests this week. She says, hello, brothers and sisters, my family and I have pulled our tent stakes from California soil and are wandering through the wilderness, trusting where God will have us pitching our tents next. I found this beautiful poem last night and wanted to share it with you. I'm not sure what each of you are facing now, but may God speak through this poem to you as it did to me. Your sister in Christ, Teresa Harvest. Okay, and the name of the poem, let's see, who is the author of this? The author is Annie Johnson Flint, and here's what she, here's what she penned. Title of the poem is At the Place of the Sea from Exodus 14. Well, I think she's referencing that as her, sorry guys, as her inspiration for this poem. Have you come to the Red Sea place in your life where in spite of all you can do, there is no way out, there is no way back, there is no other way but through? Then wait on the Lord with a trust serene till the night of your fear is gone. He will send the winds, he will heap the floods, when he says to your soul, go on. And his hand shall lead you through, clear through, ere the watery walls roll down. No wave can touch you, no foe can smite, no mightiest sea can drown. The tossing billows may rear their crests, their foam at your feet may break, but over their bed you shall walk dry shod in the path that your Lord shall make. In the morning watch, neath the lifted cloud, you shall see but the Lord alone. When he leads you forth from the place of the sea to a land that you have not known, and your fears shall pass as your foes have passed, you shall no more be afraid. You shall sing his praise in a better place in a place that his hand hath made. It's beautiful. Father, we thank you. We thank you for the beauty. There's so much beauty around us, Father. I'm listening to the music, reading this wonderful poem. We thank you for the gifts that you put in your people. We thank you for the blessings, Father. We ask you to be with us in this time as we lift up these names in prayer. Thank you, Father, in the name of our Savior. Amen. Okay, you guys, the first one is from Jackie. And her request is for health and strength. 
Jackie, we see you, sweetheart. Oh my goodness. Please, could you personally, personally pray for Donna? I am needing someone to help hold up my weary arms and intercede on Donna's behalf. She is such a beautiful, brave young woman, but so challenged and so desperate for healing, restoration, and deliverance from ill health and constant anxiety and evil demonic attacks that never stop. It's very, very stressful for us all. She will be 40 years old on the 1st of October. She has been so tired lately and weepy. Overcome by sadness, please could you continually keep Donna before Father's throne of grace and mercy. Personally, I am out of stuffing. That just makes me, I think, switch. I don't know if it's the same where you are in South Africa, Donna, but I, or uh, Jackie, but doesn't that, are you referring to the old saying, about having the stuffing knocked knocked out of us. It sounds like you're, and she's got a little broken heart right there. So you guys, we, we need to lift up Donna and Jackie. Donna, Jackie is her mother. Serena wrote to us and said that she, her doctor was putting her on new meds that started on the 25th of June and she wanted prayers. I believe I mentioned that last week, but you guys, Let's keep her in prayer. She says, pray that my numbers come down. Thank you so much and God bless you. I know there are a lot of health issues out there. Yes, of course, we're gonna pray in just a few moments for all of these folks. And you guys, if you have a request, it's a good time to say this. If you would like us to be praying for you, we have a prayer team, wonderful prayer team. And Teresa, let me know that we had three new people join that prayer team this week. I'm so excited about that. I think that's wonderful. So if you love to pray, if you love to talk to the Lord that way for others in intercession, taking people before his throne, then please send an email to prayers at vickyandchuck.com and Teresa will and let her know you'd like to join the team. And if you have a request, that's the same email address you send your request to. If you leave it in the comment section, it might not make it all the way to the prayer team. So please, please use that email address if you want our team to be praying for you. And having said all that, let me, let me also remind you guys, we pray for everybody every day. That's not gonna stop. And we believe that there are many of you out there that are praying for everybody as well. <laughs> thank you from Chuck and I. We thank you for praying for us. We need the prayers just like everybody else does. So, okay, now let's see. On to the next one. We have Diana and she says, hello, sister. Something that I've wanted for so many years and I've prayed about it so many times, but got very discouraged after praying for a long time to no avail. My prayer request is to have a profound supernatural encounter with Jesus. So please pray that he will honor my request. Thank you and amen. All right. And then Stacy says, I am in need of prayer, in need of prayer as my, as is my family, my husband, children, and daughter-in-law. Pray we all seek and find that true relationship with Jesus, that we not only find the narrow road, but that we truly get closer to the Father, being holy and committed to him. Our next one is from Elizabeth. She says, please pray for me. I am nearly 70 years old. I have loved the Lord all my life and gone through many valleys, but I feel like I'm losing my footing. Over 35 years of struggling with my daughter, Alana, who is difficult, accusing, and hateful to me. Now my granddaughter, Chloe, who is 22, is no longer speaking to me. I have done nothing but love my family and try to help them, but I am constantly accused of ugly things. I truly forgive them and pray for them, and I know they don't like my testimony of Jesus. Several members of my father's relatives committed suicide. I feel like I am being pushed by such thoughts in my loneliness and despair. I am trying to keep focused on Jesus, but it feels like the hounds of hell are after me. Any prayers that you could offer for us would be greatly appreciated. Dawn is requesting prayers for her marriage and direction. Kate is requesting prayers for salvation, for deliverance in her family. Dorothy is requesting prayers for deliverance from addictions and strength to endure to the end. 
I'm sure that each one of these requests, at least one, has touched, has touched someone, probably all of us who are listening. As you probably have some of these own issues in your, in your life or in lives of your loved ones. The good news, and it really, really is good news, is that God sees and knows and that he has the provision we need, whatever the circumstance may be. Sometimes that provision is literally a change of our willingness to uh, agree with him and what he wants to do. <laughs> Sometimes it's getting out of the thing that we've always thought was okay to do and say and be and believe and coming into agreement with his word and his promises and his plans. So we are going to pray and leave all these things at Father's feet. You guys, he's a good Father. He knows our needs before we even come to him. He already knows what they are. So let's lift these brothers and sisters up and, and their families, even as we do all of our brothers and sisters across the earth and all of those he's calling. Let's lift these requests up today. Little John, are you ready to pray? Father, even as I begin this prayer with all of our family who gather here to join us for this time, I'm reminded of your word. I'm reminded of what our Savior, Messiah, the word, said. I'm reminded of him calling you his Father and his God and telling us that you are our Father and our God as well. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's amazing that you would choose to create us. It's amazing, God, that we have the gift of being able to talk to the creator of all things, the one true almighty God. And to think that we can become your sons and daughters by surrendering our, surrendering our lives to you, and receiving your Son as our Savior, as the sacrifice for us is... That's just as amazing. So we come into your presence, humbled by that knowledge that you are our Father and our God. We come into your presence thankful that you have chosen to call us to be your own and that you continue to labor with us as we, as we stay humble before you and, and try to follow. We thank you, Father, for all the times that we have come to you in repentance, true, genuine repentance, asking for your forgiveness having a change of heart, a change of mind, and coming in the name of your Son, that you say, yes, we're forgiven, and you wash us clean. So today, whatever our, whatever our sins are, whatever it is we're struggling with, first we come honoring you as the Creator, and we come asking you, Father, please forgive us for our sins and wash us clean in the blood of the Lamb. You told me this morning the blood is the currency of the kingdom. God, that's amazing. The blood you shed for us was the price that was paid so that we could be forgiven for our sins. 
Thank you, Father. And you also told us to enter your gates with thanksgiving and your courts with praise. So we do. Thank you so much for being all you are. And we praise you, Almighty God, for all of the wonders of what you do for every attribute of the living Almighty Creator, Holy One. You are awesome. We bring all of these requests to you, Father, and we lay them at your feet. And we thank you for having the answers to every situation. Thank you for healing and deliverance and restoration, for forgiveness and wholeness. Thank you for strength, Father. Thank you for salvation. Thank you for helping us hear you. Thank you for your goodness. And thank you for hearing us. May you be glorified in every one of us all day long. We bless the name of the Most High Creator God, the Almighty One, in the name of our Savior, Jesus the Christ, the living Word of God, faithful and true, the one who has a name no one knows. Thank you, Father. In that precious name we pray. Amen. guys thank you so much for joining us for prayer today and um, there's a lot of information in the description box about how to get a hold of us and there's some new things that have started already in the ministry if you're interested in finding out about them um, more ways to connect with others in the body of Christ um, I mean there's just some really really cool stuff coming up and pray for Gary he's designing the new website and we're very very happy about that from Chuck and I both we want to say thank you for who you are for joining us in this little corner of Father's Vineyard where we gather for so many things now I'm gonna play one of his songs and oh, let me say this too, because it's really hard for me not being able to respond to all the comments. I, I've been leaving hearts instead of commenting, unless it's a very specific, you know, needs to be answered right then kind of, you know, a question. But please know that I'm still reading them all and I'm still praying for all the situations. My time and my strength are limited. So... If you see that little heart right there, it means I've read you. <laughs> I love you. And if you have any questions or you want to get in touch with us directly, then use the blessings at vickianchuck.com email address that you'll find in the description box and you can send your comments or requests there. All right, guys, love you. Here comes Chuck. <laughs> 